All right, so how do we find out if we have Respondus loaded on our computer? And if it's not loaded, how do we go get it? So let's do that one. Step one, if you click on the little start file, you'll find it either here under all programs, Respondus, Respondus Campus, on campus wide. If it's not here, we need to go load it. Okay, so how do I find out how to access Respondus, how to load it, how to do all this? So one, you have to be a same Houston professor for any of this to work, so you have to go log into Blackboard because you're going to find all the information that you need here. You'll know you're logged in because you will see your name and your avatar if you have it set up. And then I'm going to go to Faculty Central because in here is typically where all the stuff the faculty needs is all in here. This is our new interface that the SHSU a lot has worked on, has worked really hard to create. It's a very nice, clean, slick interface. And if you go down here at the bottom, there's the Blackboard How-To Guides for students for faculty. Students version shows them how to use Primarily, faculty is how creation, how do you work with it, how do you set up your courses using all the different tools. And yes, you can go to assessment, and you can scroll through here, and you can read all the different things, and sometimes it's fun to do that just so you can come through and see what's new and what's being offered. But if I'm looking for something specific like I am today for Respondus, I'm going to go straight to A to Z. I find it's easier for me to go find what I need. And scroll down to Respondus. Once you're here, you will see the how-tos that have already been created by the Delta team. So here are your how-tos. So here is how to access it, how to install it. You should be able to install it from SHU installation menu. If you can't, you can also get to it and use it from home. So let's say you need to add this to your laptop to use from home. So there's your different ways and methods to get there. So let's go show you how to do both. And here you also find the instructions on how to go in and add the server so that you can publish your test to Blackboard, demo movies about all the different things that you can do with Respondus from the Respondus website. There's a link on my website to this also. And step by step how to import and the different documents, etc. Okay, so my website that I've got created is just a little more um, broken out step by step for those of you that need those. For those of you that speak techie or geek, this is really all you need. We know this. Okay, so one, you should be able to go to, where is it? Sorry. You should be able to go to the SHSU's U programs installation, but as you can notice on my computer, it's not available. This is because I'm still using my loaner computer. I'm waiting for mine to get here. So this is where I'm going to follow those steps on how to get the software unloaded so that I could use it if I don't have it. So if you'll notice, it tells you what to do. Go to the web page, go to SAMWeb, click on IT. So let's just go do that. The SHSU.U, EDU, SAMWeb. You'll have to be signed in. Notice I'm signed in because here's my name. IT Sam, Respondus. Yes, I'm responding for personal use so that I can use it to teach more courses here at Sam Houston. And then I'm going to copy and paste this information. And I can share this because this information is no longer correct. So it doesn't do you any good because you're not a Sam Houston person. So I can post this here and it doesn't do any good. Haha. -ha. So you have to know a couple of things. You'll have to know your institute's name. You'll have to know who your contract is, and you have to know your installation password. Uh, if you'll notice, this one has already expired, so it's no good anymore for the public. I'm sure that they will be posting soon online the current and correct version for this. Okay, so I've copied and pasted this so that when I go and install and run the software, when I ask for all this, I can just simply copy paste. So it's just a Control C, Control V. So we have to know this information. If you're a professor right now and you need to use it right now and you can't, you will contact the Delta at hssu.edu. They will tell you what the current installation password is. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize and I'm going to download it. Save the file and then run it. And all you literally have to do is follow the on-screen prompts from this point. My my recommendation is save it somewhere where you know where it's going to go other than just to your downloads. You literally just download it and run it. Beware, you may have to have a lot of patience depending on how long it takes for your internet service provider to download such things. Yeah, 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 because I'm on my loaner computer and you literally just go through and follow the prompts and you go through everything and then you're going to get to a screen where it's going to ask you for all this information and you have to put that information in and that, that way it's all verified. All right, 
Next step is I'm going to show you how to pull the document we've created into the Respondus software.